Though Hollywood tends to glamorize, or maybe demonize, the role diplomats play in global affairs, the truth is the profession is as varied as the planet itself. Supporting roles for James Bond scenes remain fairly hard to come by, but the 21st century has brought with it many new challenges and meant that Canadian Foreign Service officers are often called on to serve in complex and sometimes dangerous environments, none more so than Afghanistan. Much of the work still draws on traditional diplomatic strengths, including reporting and political monitoring, but it also now requires more than policy work. Diplomats are also funding concrete initiatives with responsive funding tools to meet needs in areas like policing, justice, and reconciliation processes. Here at Camp Nathan Smith in Kandahar, supported by the Canadian Embassy in Kabul, a cadre of diplomats work alongside civilian and military colleagues, as well as Kandaharis, to deliver a wide range of support to Afghans. My name is uh, Catherine Bloodworth. I'm the Senior Political Officer here at the PRT, focusing on governance. I'm also the Senior Foreign Affairs Contact for Kandahar City and Argandab District. I work on issues such as reconciliation, elections, including the voter registration process, and connecting the people to their government. Diplomats frame these efforts as promoting good governance. What this governance translates to, when effective, is the delivery of basic services to Afghans. A functioning system of politics means clean water, food and electricity, even things like taxes and garbage collection, local level political responsibility and accountability. Certainly, Afghanistan has a long way to go. Governance, though improved in the last six years, remains weak at national, provincial, district and sub-district levels. The result is that basic services, services that Kandaharis expect from their government, are also not keeping up with expectations. Recently I travelled to Argandab district to discuss governance and development issues at the weekly Shura. These meetings are designed to give leaders an opportunity to engage with members of the public and representatives from the international community. All are welcome to express their opinions at these gatherings. Unlike in most countries where we would tend to focus on the national issues, national level stuff, here in Kandahar we actually drill down to the provincial and even district level. The district level is the people's primary, first and sometimes only point of contact with their government and so promoting that, um, strengthening that bond is important to make people feel connected to their country, their province, so they feel they have something invested. Ultimately, one of the jobs that diplomats in Kandahar are charged with is working with Afghans to help reduce the gap between the people and their government. That can be hard to document or put your finger on. Building those links is not necessarily the most visible of efforts in terms of a country's growth, but their impact can be felt immediately by the people of Kandahar. From the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Kandahar, this is Lucas Robinson. <laughs>